Hi friends. Well, today is Monday, July 18th, and I had the weekend off. Yes, I seem to be taking a lot of days off, but most it's been like every other day I've been walking, and I'm happy with that. I mean, I don't want to stay there, don't get me wrong, but um, I definitely am glad I'm getting up and moving on the days that I am, so praying for more days that I do. Today, I got to listen to two. Uh, first of all, let me just tell you, when I started off walking, I felt great. Um, I felt strength and endurance. I was able to walk um, quicker. My pace was quicker, and I walked longer. I uh, did a whole 30 minutes instead of 24 minutes, and um, I got my mile in quicker, like, it was 1845 right um, that's not awesome but for me it is <laughs> so um, we should only compare ourselves to ourselves right anyway <clears throat> um, so I'm excited about that gives me hope for tomorrow right that it'll be easier tomorrow and I can push myself more and more um, the more I do it the more I spend time in this um, new habit and um, so let's see today's uh, lessons that I listened to were day 20 ni day 19 and 20 and um, Mark 4 I think it was Mark 4 and John 5 or no John 5 and Mark 4 all right so the first one I listened to was about the storm, Jesus calming the storm. And the second one I listened to was about the lame man um, at the pool of Bethesda. And Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed, right? So both of those really spoke to me. Um, the first one about Jesus calming the storm, what I noticed about that set of scriptures was that Jesus was comfortable in the boat. He had a cushion. And um, he was asleep and he had a cushion. Um, and so he was comfortable. And there's this major storm going on, right? And everyone's panicking. And they are saying, Jesus, aren't, aren't you afraid that we'll perish? Or aren't you afraid because we'll perish? However he worded it, um, they were fearful that they would not make it, even though Jesus was with them. And I just... <laughs> I have to laugh because how many times are we afraid that um, something's not going to work out? Um, we're not going to make it alive through the season we're in. Um, even though we know Jesus is with us. We may not be in a boat, but in our life, the boat is really our life. And Jesus is with us in our life as long as we've made him Lord of our life, right? And so if we have... And we're walking through all these chaotic storms. I mean, every day is a new day, right? It, and it could be a stormy day or a sunny day. But with Jesus, we have the hope that um, we will get through it. And um, so they weren't, they haven't learned that lesson yet. We need to. We need to learn it quicker than they did. Um, I, I think of my own situation about um you know just things i've feared for even other people in my life you know like i'd want this for my son and i've fearing it wasn't happening well first of all what i want and what god want are two different things right so am i praying the will of the father um <laughs> anyway um i just feel like we need to remember that uh me I know I need to remember that Jesus is in the boat with me I don't need to fear he's comfortable he is sure that we're all going to be fine right so Lord help me to feel that comfort in the chaos and um, the other passage regarding the pool of Bethesda and the lame man there and Jesus asked him he'd been there 38 years and Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? All right, I'm picturing myself. <laughs> Jesus asks me, do you want to be healed? First, 
um, what does Jesus, what does he ask me? What am I lame in, right? I'm at the pool. What is it? What's my sickness? And for me, it's my health. It's, it's not like a disease except um, my lack of health regarding my weight, regarding my energy and my strength. Um, and those are all like self inflicted. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, there's some DNA in there because we've got a lot of heavy people in our family, but, but God, right? I mean, I don't have to have that. Um, break these binds, break these chains that bind us. And, um, I don't want to continue the history of my family when it's genetic slash choice. So anyway, um, when Jesus asks me, do I want to be healed? I, I hear him. And then the first thought I had was, yeah, I do, but I really like my food. Yeah, I do. I really like my sweets. Yeah, I don't want to exercise. Um, so that's the, just the truth. That's my first initial reaction. And, um, but knowing he is God and he can do all things. And if I could ask him to do anything, I'd want him to heal me of the desires of my flesh. Heal me of those, Lord, so that I would want what you want for me and my body and my soul. In Jesus' holy name. So today I ask you, do you want to be healed? And what are you afraid of while Jesus is in the boat with you? Um, just give me a uh, an answer in the comments or message me I'd love to hear from you um, so I mean I know I'm not alone but I'd love your encouragement regardless I want you to know that um, I do do this uh, for my memory and so that I can retain the nuggets that God has given me each day and so I'd be purposeful looking for them so um, and then I just want to share that these nuggets that I'm <laughs> noting by this video, um, I also get to use when I'm out talking to people, um, like when I'm encouraging people, a missionary that I coach, I was able to use um, last week's lesson um, that it really impacted him because of what he's been going through. So I just want to um, remind you that God's word is going to come back and come back because it's his word. It will not be, it will not be, empty. it will not come back void. Something like that. It's scripture. I'll look it up and put it in the comments. <laughs> anyway, oh, I just pray that we would all grow closer to him and love the journey. All right. Take care. God bless.